In Caddy we can use hatch to create exactly the right feel for our drawings. Now these can be lined hatches, they can be coloured hatches, but we also have uh, available to us a whole range of, of possibilities with custom hatches. So let's have a look at how we can increase the range of, of hatch patterns available to us with custom hatches. Looking in the, the hatch section from our tools and under hatch set, we'll notice that we have, as well as line styles, patterns, fills, gradients, we have custom. When we go to custom, we have some already within Caddy, but we can add to that uh, and we can grab these from the internet, do a quick search on say AutoCAD custom hatch pattern styles and you'll come up with a whole list of, uh, of them, some free to download. Let's have a look how we can get one of those into our drawing. Here I've located a hatch pattern that I would like to incorporate within the custom hatches, so we click on save now we need to save that into our C Program Data Advanced Computer Solutions Caddy 16 Hatch folder if you've installed to the defaults. So we have our hatch pattern, we'll say save that, and that is now incorporated within that hatch pattern folder. Go to our hatch set, choose custom, and we click on H to get us into the vicinity there, and there's our, our stone pattern. If we don't like the preview in terms of the size of it, we can make it bigger and smaller. And as a tool tip, if we press F1 and hit default, then that will select that as the chosen zoom factor for our preview for next time. So that's how we set it. We can OK that. Go to, say, rectangle or auto or any of the other tools you normally use. And there is your hatch pattern within your drawing. Very quick, very easy, and gives you an enormous range of possibilities for incorporating other hatches within your drawings.